Today we're going to be talking about a play to earn game called Zen Doodoo Party. And yes, it is as fun as it is to say. This takes place in the venture into Doodoo Land. And you go ahead and create different Zen Doodoos and you can stake them and do a bunch of other things. We're going to go over everything in this video to give you an idea of how the game works. And I have been playing this game and I really do enjoy it. So I think you'll like it too. As always, do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a gamer and I enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. This is a sponsored video. Thank you so much for sponsoring it. And I will be going through and giving more information in a Discord. If you have questions, you can always stop in my Discord and I will be doing giveaways and giving away some Zendudus. Also, they have their Discord down below as well. Go ahead and check them out. And let's go ahead and jump into opening some packs to get started so we have an idea of what we can work with. And then we'll go through and show you all the features of this game and how they give out 40,000 wax this season, which a season is two months. So they give out weekly rewards. We'll talk about that right after the packs. Let's go ahead and jump into that. Time to open some packs. Let's go ahead and start with the tools and see what we get here. Okay, shovel, shovel, signboard. I think those are all one point. Yeah, those are 0 0.01. So those are more of the commons. Got two more packs. Let's go ahead and see what else we get here. And then we're going to be opening some silver packs. These are the tools that they're going to be using. Signboard, flowers. Oh, door gift. 1.04 so that gives you more mining power in whichever pool you choose so that's very important anything that is in that area is a lot better Let's see what we get here another one nice so we got two now time for the silver packs whoa rufaro that's a 1.5 percent card that's the second best card in this season we're in season three I can't believe I just got that. That's pretty crazy. Nice. That was the first pack. We are crushing it already. Let's go ahead and do another here. Man, that's so great. What else? Gus, Gus, Dorothy. Dorothy's decent. Gus, I think, is the bottom. So he's not the one you want to always pull, but you do need some of them. So that's fine. Let's see if we can go and get some other good cards. Here they come. I feel it. Feel it. Come on, Dorothy, Gus. Ah, oh, Gus. Nope. <laughs> Let's check the next pack. We got two more. Two more. Cross your fingers. Let's see. Ooh, Bono. <gasps> Another Rafaro. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we would get one more, we could evolve them. Ah, oh, be insane. Let's see if we can get them. That's crazy though. It's 1.5% chance of getting that, and I got it in two packs. Oh, we got Sheldon. That's good we don't have that. Sweet. We got a nice variety. Okay, let's talk about Zen Doo Doo Party. Now that we got some amazing cards, I'm going to show you how they all work in this game. First, I want to go over a few cool features. They have seasons every two months, and they give away prizes, and they're giving out 40,000 wax in rewards to people that are playing this game. That's insane. And basically you can go through, they give out at the end of the season and then they also have weekly rewards for the top 50 players. So here you can see the cards. There's 10 cards in all right now and eight of them have been released. So there's two more that'll probably be released very shortly. And then you can get a gold, silver, or bronze reward, depending on how many you unlock in this season. 10, you get the gold. 8 to 9, silver. And 6 to 7, bronze. From what I see right now, I have a chance at going for the bronze. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot then. And it also tells you how much you get. So if you get the gold, if you get all of them, you get 400 wax, which is $170 at the time of this. 200 zendi. I'm going to try to go for bronze. I'm going to try to see if we can get the bronze in this video. Give away so much. And then you get these trophies at the end, which will increase your stakings. 1.4 for the gold, 1.2 for the silver, and 1.10 for the bronze. So what is this game? Let me go ahead and explain it to you. You have these Zendudus, and you can go ahead and evolve them. 
So if you see Gus, you can take three Gusses and make them into a Dorothy. And then three Dorothys go into a Sheldon. Three Sheldons will go into a Bono. Three Bonos would go into a Raffaro. And then three Raffaro would go into the top guy. We don't have him. <laughs> we almost did. We almost had two. We needed one more. I thought we were going to get three. I was like, oh, we can go ahead and evolve them. But we missed the third one. But I mean, to get two is crazy. So we're going to go through. We got a bunch of Gusses. So we're going to go through and show you exactly how to evolve. And then we're going to show you what you do with them after you have them. And there's just so much to cover. Let's go ahead and jump into evolution. And here you just want to select the Zendudu that you want to combine. So we're going to go ahead and take some of Gus and evolve him. And here it's going to say you've created Dorothy, Season 3, Evolution 2, and then Powers 4. Gus was 1, 1, and 1, and you get an extra power for evolving. By evolving, you actually gain more. We have a lot of Gus, so we're going to go ahead and evolve some more. And we got another Dorothy. And let's do there. So if we evolve three Gusses, we get three Dorothys. And now that we have three Dorothys, we can go ahead and take the three Dorothys and evolve to get a Sheldon. See how, see how, how it works? And this is how you can go ahead and build up your team and get a little bit of everything because if you get a bunch of ones on the bottom you can just level them up to go to the next level all right so we have two sheldons we can definitely make another sheldon and then we would need two more dorothy's one two three one two i think we're gonna have just enough so let's do this and we'll do one more All right, now we will do Dorothy, and we have Sheldon. So now we have three Sheldons, but I want to keep a Sheldon. So what we'll do is we will click these three, and we'll evolve here. And now we have four Sheldons. So now we have one Gus, because I want to try to get one of everything. That's, the, uh, that's kind of the objective of the game. You want to have as many unique as you can. So now we have four Sheldons and we can go ahead and combine them. I'm going to take the last three that we created because they're probably a higher mint number. And this one was a one in a pack. So it's probably a, it was the first one created. So personally, that's how I'm going to do it just because it's a good there. We're going to evolve it. And now we got a Bono. And when you do that, you know, you have 15, 15, 15. That 45, you're going to 50, which is great because now you're getting an extra five power. So now we have one, two, three, four, five unique. So we need one more unique to have a chance at bronze. And we need three more unique for the next level. But what we can do, since we've already evolved them, there is another feature called morphing. So we can go into morphing. I didn't know what to morph right now. What you could do is go to Zen Dudu and go to Archive. This is going to show you all of them that are available in the game. What I do is I change it to Season 3. And then you have these little information tips that tell you how to go ahead and create that card. So if we go here, we can see Wolfheim. If we highlight it, it is created by Rafario which we have. It's Rafario and one Morphing Potion will go ahead and make Wolfheim, which is a card I want. And this one here, Zarzu, you need a Bono and a Morphing Potion. So we could make these two because we have an extra Rafario and an extra Bono. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go into Morphing. We're gonna select our Potion. And let's go with Bono first. And there's 53 out of 75. So only 75 of this card are ever going to be created. So the scarcity in this game is serious. You need to make sure you're playing and pay attention when these packs come out. That way you can go ahead and get these and upgrade them. So we're going to go ahead and morph. And we got the Zarzu. 
limited edition. Nice. 75 power, too. Let's go back to our inventory. And there he is. Sweet. So I gained an extra 25 power as well. So we're going to do Rafario as well. I actually don't have any more morphing potions. Let's see if we can buy one here. We can. $14. Sure. Now we're back into morphing. We're going to go ahead and choose the morphing potion again. And let's do Rafario. I'm going to do, since it's going to be burnt, I'm going to pick the 84 because it's a higher mint. It's just something I do when there's mint numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. And now we're going to go ahead and morph, and we're going to get one of the Wolfheim. Nice. You've created Wolfheim. That animation in that is awesome. I like the LE at the top, limited edition. That definitely makes it look cool. And there's 250 power here. Nice. So let's go through. What we want to do next is stake them and get them making stuff for us. So there's two things you could do. So there's two pools. There's the rally pool and the mining pool. The rally pool, you can stake your Zendudus there to get more Zendudus. Or... The mining pool, you can stake your Zendudus there to get Zendi coin. So here you get more of your characters, your Zendudu, and here you get Zendi coin. When you get Zendi coin, you can use that to go to the Tiki Hut. In the Tiki Hut, you can buy Ziphites, I believe you say it. And you can either buy a pack of one or a pack of three. 50 Zendi for a pack of three, you know, and then pack of one is 20. Once you have these, you can get the first three rarities inside. These are like Zendudus, but they're a little more, I guess, bad. <laughs> these you can go ahead and upgrade as well, but in the packs, you can only get the first three versions, so you have to upgrade them. Then to upgrade them, you can use your Zendi coin to help with the percentages of being able to upgrade them. And you can also buy a bubble wrap potion to make sure your Zephyte doesn't get destroyed if it fails. Unfortunately, I don't have coin to do this, and I'm a little low on wax right now, so I can't go ahead and purchase any of these, but possibly in another video. When you do get this all set up, basically you would just go into the Zap Lab, and in here you can go ahead and put your Zephyte, and whatever your potion is, you need two Zephytes to combine them, one potion if you want an extra percentage, and then if you want the bubble wrap. And then you do it, and uh, the evil doctor tries to create them, and you'll see if it's successful or not. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and stake. We're gonna go ahead and choose staking, it'll bring us here. And we could choose the rally pool, which is where you get more Zendudus, or the mining pool, which is how you get more Zendi. We'll go ahead and choose the rally pool, which is to get more Zendudus. We're going to stake our best one. And with that, we want the best multiplier. So we'll choose 1.04. And we also want to do the other one, the 1.75, and do the other 1.4. And then the rest were ones. So we have three shovels for the mining pool. So let's do the two lower ones here. And we'll go ahead and stake that. We do have extra items here. But we just ran out of Zendudus at the moment. If you go into unstake, you can see what you're currently staked in that pool. And to unstake it, you just click it and choose unstake. Now let's go ahead and choose back. And now let's do the mining pool. In the mining pool, we're going to select here. Only got commons for the mining, so we only got the shovels. So we're going to do that and we're going to stake this. So this is what's going to produce the Zendi coin for me. And then I can go ahead and choose unstake and I can see what I have in here. I do want to go ahead and purchase more and get them in here. Like I said, I just don't have the uh, wax right now. And then it'll show you your rewards and what's unclaimed to claim it. All you do is click on the dynamite and it'll say successfully claimed and then I'll add it in and then I'll add it in up here. And there's no clicking on that. That's it. You're in, you're staked, you're earning. You just leave them in there and they'll just keep going. If you go to rewards, you can see what's going on with the weekly rewards. It says amass your Zendudu party with as many unique Zendudus as possible and get rewarded. So 50 winners here and 
up to 2,000 wax is given out. So let's go ahead and look. We have all week to go ahead and get these unique. Let's look and see. We have seven out of 64. So we are missing a good amount of Zendudus. But remember, we just started this season. This will show you the Zendudus you're missing. And you can click on them and it'll take you to Atomic Hub. And it gives you how much they cost. Now, keep in mind that some of these are going to be really hard to get. Like some of them are really cool. Like this one looks awesome. And if you're trying to collect them all, you kind of need them all. Some of them you can't even get, though. Try more towards the end here. Uh, these are the Zephites. These are the ones that are a little harder to get because you need the Zendi coin to buy the packs. And a lot of people mine for the Zendudus instead. You go to view past winners if you want to see what else is out there. They also have the leaderboard. And it looks like I'm not updated yet, but it should go ahead and update soon. This will give you an idea of who's currently winning and their party power. I believe my party power was around 500 and I think I was 114th before I went through and evolved everything. Also, if you click up here, you can choose profile and this is my profile. So my party power is 588, which is a lot better than it was. So I might be top 100 now, we'll have to see. I'm going to see what other Zendudus I can get, and yeah, we'll go from there. That's Zendudu Party. This is a great game. Try it. The links are down below. If you have any questions, again, jump in the Discord or, or write them below. And Mission Crafts, I believe they're being coming out, starting to come out today or tomorrow. They're kind of announced right now, so that might be something to look into. Maybe I'll bring another video in the future on that when I have some more information on it. Thank you for the view.